Okay, so in today's video, this is probably one of the fastest swing changes that I have seen. It was pretty much instantaneous, and I'm gonna share that with you in today's video. The benefit of today's video, as I'm gonna sort of outline as well, is that what we always wanna be doing is keeping things as simple as we possibly can. So the drill is ridiculously easy, and it will have a ridiculous impact on your impact position, which you'll also see from our high handicap golfer who was able to adapt it. What I'm also gonna do during the lesson is I'm just gonna explain exactly what is happening naturally by doing this drill, which I personally think is really, really beneficial as well. Let's get stuck into it. That's a bad one. What happens if we sort of swap places for a sec? So what sort of happens is, um, you can stand opposite me, you'll probably get a better picture. So you can hit the ball pretty straight, um, but as you know from your own videos, you're reliant on a flip. Do you know what I mean? Like this sort of folding of the arms to do it. Now the problem that we've got is if we were to strip that away, so let's say, you know, I've, I've done like a split handle drill, or let's say we just tried to swing with wide on the way through. I don't doubt your ability to do that, but what will happen is exactly what happened on the last shot, you'll miss it to the right. And this is basically where you've got to try and get that sort of feeling that it's more like your body, hips and, um, and chest is sort of moving the club around. Do you know what I mean? As soon as we initiate the downswing. So to best understand this, I feel it's the most important thing to do is to try and understand the left arm. So if I sort of swing my left arm across my chest, as I start the downswing, what you tend to do is there's not much movement of the body, left arm comes away from the chest and it swings too much to the right of our target, okay? That means the ball would go right, unless you flip it around to the left, which is why then we end up looking like so. Club. Don't worry about the ball yet. Okay. So we'll swing up. Okay. Yeah, swing up again. Stay there. Okay, now start moving your chest down to the left. Keep going. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's never gone first before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With me? Yeah. So we'll hit one, same sort of whatever, same sort of feeling, but we just gotta try and make sure that we're concentrating mainly on where the club's gonna hit the ground. Okay. Not enough. Okay, so what I'm essentially saying to Dave is the problem that you've got is you're too flippy. And there'll be loads of you that are like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm too flippy. And you know that that, because you either video your swing or you've been told it, or you can just feel it. So the question really always comes down to, well, why is he flipping? And what does it really mean? Well, what we kind of have, if you like, is a sort of concept of swing direction, which is the sort of direction that we are moving the golf swing. And with professional golfers and better golfers alike, what we tend to see is high levels of rotation in the swing. And by having high levels of rotation in the swing, it's very similar to a kind of analogy of throwing a Frisbee. So what's happening when you are throwing a Frisbee is that you are pulling the lead arm across your chest and you are rotating the body round to the left. And what you are therefore having to gauge is at what point do you sort of let go of the Frisbee to hit it straight. This is the best sort of analogy that's the same as the golf swing. What's happening is that by, in his golf swing, so by Dave not rotating his body, effectively means that he is directing the club too much to the right of his target. He's not going to let himself hit it 45, 50 degrees right, because if 
that could translate in three fairways down towards the right hand side. Nobody's going to do that. You're going to learn from that mistake very quickly. So therefore what he does is he flips. So he kind of swings back, all good, doesn't really move the body, everything's moving too much that way, so he flips to hit it straight. That's the problem. And that's what our lack of rotational motion potentially offers you. The problem with golf is that what you don't want to be doing is you don't necessarily always want to kind of tell yourself consciously to rotate. You kind of want to do something that forces you to do that exact thing. And this is the answer. Another way you could do this, if you get set up, keep the club head there. All right. Good. But yeah. Can we hear the way it was thin? Yep. So that means the club's rising in the hit. Yeah. So even though we're moving the ball forward, I still want the club striking down. Okay. We don't need that. Now, the question is, how downward can you hit it? So keep the ball forward, and then the feeling is that because you're moving ahead of the ball, yeah, and you're trying to strike down, you're trying to hit it as low as possible, aren't you? And again. Keep thinking that's my sunglasses. <laughs> you could stop touching the mic, would be... Uh, yeah, sorry. It's not a drum. Like it's going to fall off. <laughs> Good try. Okay, so by simply moving the golf ball further forward in the stance, let's just move those out of the way. So if that was his normal ball position, which is located in the center of his stance, by moving the ball further forward brings a different question. Because now what we're basically saying is you need to return that club face square at the point of impact. But what you also need to make sure that you do is not flip. Now. You can't really get away with a flip by moving the ball so far forward in the stance because the club will be rising in the hit too much. So the flip, not only does it cause instability of the club face, but it plays havoc with what's known as your angle of attack, which is the consistency of the club head striking down the ball. If the club head is rising too much, then you're going to have an inconsistency with that hit. So that's exactly what happened. We kind of said, well, look, I tell you what, Here's the parameters of what I want you to try and achieve. Move the ball further forward and just try and hit it straight. And well, what happened was pretty instant, really. That's it. So we've got lots of videos, or I've got lots of videos around impact over the next coming days. The next video onto this one is something that 100% you are not going to want to miss. So if you haven't already done so, press that subscribe button. If you're gonna do so, press the little bell icon because that means you receive notifications every time a new video comes out, hopefully. Your golf will improve, move the ball position. I know some of you will be asking questions. What should you do if it makes an improvement? Should you keep the ball further forward? I'd be interested to hear from you in the comments box below on that and see if anybody has persevered with the ball position further forward forever. See you guys again soon.